Hi guys, Laharpio here. This video is going to be a short tutorial on Wallpaper Engine, uh, which is a application you can buy um, from Steam. This video is uh, from the request of a couple of the comments in my last video regarding um, voice meter and VR chat. So, what we're going to go through is how to download and, and install and use Wallpaper Engine, which will allow you to have. Um, well, any wallpaper that, that has been created, or you can create your own. Um, and the good thing about Wallpaper Engine, the reason I love it so much, is it the wallpapers are stunning, and the range of different wallpapers you can get is just absolutely fantastic. Um, certainly geared a lot of it towards anime, and there's a lot of... Um, yeah, well, there's a lot of, a lot of anime stuff in there. Um, now... It's quite simple. It's really cheap as well. It does cost money, unfortunately, but it's it's really really for what it's worth. It's really not that much. Um, I would definitely say it's uh, it's worth its value. Now, what I'm going to do, as you can see, I have Wallpaper Engine running with the cute ass dog in the background there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a cut and uninstall the Wallpaper Engine so that we can start from scratch. And I will see you guys after the cut. Okay, guys, and we're back. Now, Wallpaper Engine, uh, like I said, it's available on Steam. I've already got it purchased. However, if we look at Wallpaper Engine, it's £2.79 in here in the UK, or it's $3.99 uh, in the US. So you can just find it in the Steam store just by searching Wallpaper Engine and buying it and downloading it. So I'm just going to quickly download it. It's only 447 megabytes. That shouldn't take too long at all. 53 seconds. I'm probably going to cut this bit. Okay, guys. So Wallpaper Engine is now downloaded. It was 222 megabytes. And let's hit launch. Bing installation. Quick installation. Awesome. So Wallpaper Engine is now running, although nothing has changed, but we can see now we have this icon down here. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to double click it even. And here we go. So we can see now I'm running a dual monitor setup. Um, this will change obviously based on what your setup is, but we can change the layout. Do we want a single stretched wallpaper or wallpaper per monitor? Now I run two monitors, as I've said, and I run separate wallpapers on each. So I'm going to keep it as wallpaper per monitor, and we have a split and group function as well. So you can group them to um, basically, well, to be honest, I'm not 100% sure about that, but we can probably try that out. So let's go select wall uh, monitor one, which is currently the, the monitor that's being recorded. And we'll hit change wallpaper. Okay, so installed, you can see we have a whole bunch of things here. Now, before we get into the actual wallpapers, I'm going to go over a few things that I personally want to do first. First thing is go into the settings up here. And if I recall, we are looking for this here, UI skin. Now I'm a I'm a I'm a everything has to be black or dark type of guy. Uh I, I like black backgrounds with white text rather than white on black. So I'm gonna change that. Here we go. Start with Windows. Uh you wanna make sure that that is selected. I'm not sure whether that's carrying settings over from my previous installation. Adjust Windows color. I go for everything just because I like how it acts, how it changes the, the like the taskbar color and the window colors just to match the wallpapers, which I think is a really cool feature. We have UI language and we have the media section here. Now, I've not came across a reason for wallpaper uh, engine to record you. So I turn, I'm turn, i going to turn that all the way down. And video audio output. Now, there's a couple of different files that are used as wallpapers. You've got single images, you've got animated GIFs, you've got videos. I think there's probably a few more, but that's the only ones that I've seen. Now, a lot of the videos do have audio. Now, I kind of find that annoying um, because you don't want your wallpaper to be playing audio on a constant loop. That would drive you, that would just drive you insane. So I'm gonna go ahead and deselect that. Let's have a look if there's anything else here. Okay, so pro process priority, I'm gonna leave that as that. Everything else here should be fine. Blah, blah, blah. Perfect. I think that's everything we need to touch in there. Let's just have a quick check here. That's fine. 
Okay, we'll go to performance now. Okay, so I'm going to say high is the preset for me. I'm going to turn the FPS up. I'm going to take the risk. Okay, it's 60 at the top. And the other thing here is the playback section. Now, this is quite important for when you're playing around with videos. So, if if your screen is taken up by like you know a browser or a game, there's not really any point in running the monitor um, behind it because you're just going to use more graphics memory and more RAM. So there's a couple of settings here that can help prevent that. So other application focused basically means that if you're playing a video and another application is focused, then the video, well, this is where it determines what the video is going to do. So, for example, right now I've got, the window focus right now is Wallpaper Engine. So, if I leave it, it's keep running. The vid, If I was playing a video in the background, it would still be running even while Wallpaper Engine is the focused window or Chrome or Game or Discord or, you know, anything like that. If I set it to pause... If there was a video running in the background, it would pause whenever anything other than the desktop was in focus. We'll get into that a bit later on so I can show you actually demoed. And we will press OK. OK. So let's have a quick look at some of these pre-installed wallpapers. I just want to check quickly if there's any other settings down here. No, that's fine. You can see down in the context menu, uh, when you right click it, you've got pause, take screenshot, the support and FAQ settings, which have just been in, browse, create and change wallpaper. So, and it's change wallpaper. If you just double click the icon, it's change wallpaper. So, as it's, it's saying, click here to browse the wallpaper. Okay, so, use the filter options to find more easily what you're looking for than on Steam. Click a genre twice to hide it. Click on approved with the little cup icon to browse hand-picked wallpapers. Browse the most popular or top-rated content if you're looking for high-quality submissions. What genres are you interested in? I'm going to select them all just to see what comes up. Okie dokie. Now we're going to go back to installed for the time being and have a look at some of the default wallpapers first so i'll just put this over to the side and we'll just click just click on one now if you bear in mind this is going to affect wallpaper one because that's the one that i had selected so i'm double clicked on there then that you can change which wallpaper you're dealing with using the little monitor icon up in the top right there so if i hit arsenal you can see we have the wallpaper here now i'm not sure if this is an yes it is here we go a wee bit of an animation so it's going to rotate around i imagine we're not going to watch the whole thing so bring it back up by double clicking and it's going to ask us which one we're meant what which what which monitor we want to mess around with let's look at another one um now some of them are audio uh sensitive which is pretty cool so there's nothing playing there at the moment now if i put up spotify and we play something let's just hit on that here Let's go for now. I think it's not going to do anything because I turned off the audio input. Now, what we're going to do is check that by going back into the settings. Going back into general, recording volume fifty, so, or whatever. We're just, oh, we can see it activating in the background there. So that's reacting to the music. So let's pause good old Kendrick. Okie dokie. So let's select another one, Beach. There's a nice beach scene. With the animation obviously on the water and in the trees. So that's about enough of uh, everything that they provide. I mean, you can go by all means and have a, have a look through yourself. So... I actually just want to show you this quickly here. Now you can see, if you remember, I set it to automatically control the windows colors. So we can see scheme color. So whenever this particular wallpaper is loaded, it will change the windows default theme like the taskbar and various windows to match uh, this one, to match this color. Now if we're going to workshop, now bear in mind, 
The workshop is created by the community. There's a lot of uh, not safe for work material on there. Now, hopefully I don't encounter any or else I will have to blur it out. What we're going to do is we're going to we're just going to look at the most popular. Um, so we'll go to most subscribed. And as you can see, there's a lot of anime in there. So you can customize that by pressing filter and you can select from here. So, for example, let's select pixel art. Good old Nyan cat. So. What we're going to do is we're going to click on Aesthetic City, this one here. We can see that it's a scene, 44.3 uh, 44 megabytes, and then it's got some tags, and you can rate it. There's the creator there. So we're going to, you can either, I'm pretty sure you can just double click, and it will start to download. Cool, perfect. Move out of the way. And there's our wallpaper. Uh, there's a couple of settings there. I'm not sure whether this will... F yes, it will. Okay, so there's a couple of settings which will affect the vertical position of the uh, wallpaper. And for anything animated, there is the playback rate. So we can slow or speed up the rate of the GIF or the video or whatever it happens to be. Let's have a, another quick look at some other ones. 2.4 megabytes. I'm not wanting to download anything huge, obviously. So there's like another cool pixel art one. So the range is really is absolutely incredible. Uh, let's deselect that and let's go for something like, let's go for vehicle, let's see what's in vehicle. We will go for 5.4 megabytes. Now some of these, I saw one the other day that was 1.6 gigabytes, so some of them are massive. Audio disabled in settings. Okay, so this is a video, so it does have audio. Now I disabled that in settings as you can see there. Now normally if you don't disable that, you will have a volume bar there. Like I said, I disable the, the audio for pretty obvious reasons, because I don't really want the audio playing all the time. It would get annoying. Um, again, we have the same options, and we also have an alignment tier. So because this video because this video is has the correct resolution, we don't actually need to worry about it. Certain ones you do. Uh, this one, we don't. And now I am messing around with my other wallpaper. So if I, for example, this tank, you know, that's a bit big. 14.6 megabytes, so if I download that, you can't see it because OBS is only recording uh, the monitor one. However, that's a nice picture of Ethan from H3H3. By the way, there's some great H3H3 ones. I might show you some of those. Um, you can't see it, but it's playing on my second monitor. Now we can confirm that by pressing the monitor icon again, and we can see one and two. Um, so that gives us a preview of what's playing. Now we can set up uh, playlists, you know, we can do various things, but if we hit installed, we can see that these have been added to our list of installed wallpapers. Now, what we're going to do is we are going to create a playlist. So we're going to select one there using the tick checkbox. I just want to make sure, okay, I want to select, go back, select wallpaper one. I'm going to select that there, the tank and the static city. And you can see it's moved it down here into playlist. So we're going to hit the settings and have a look. The order is, is just random. Change wallpaper, again, you can change that whenever. Well, you can change it uh, for these presets. There's also a button in the context menu that will appear saying next wallpaper, as you can see there. Change wallpaper when video, so if it is a video, uh, you don't have to wait for the, ch like for example, if you'd set that to 30 minutes, but the video was only five minutes long, it would automatically change. And again, allow wallpaper to change when paused. Now, if the video was paused and you had it set to 30 minutes, after 30 minutes, it would still change. Show wallpaper trans uh, transition. I think basically it has some predetermined transitions like uh, star uh, star wipes and things like that. I personally don't think they're the greatest, so I leave it off and just go for a straight up cut into the next wallpaper. Now, so that was the settings. So we have also an add. So I've got that one selected and I press the add button. Then we have the save. So we're going to save that as playlist. We'll just call it playlist. Playlist one. Okay. There we go. So now, if I were to right-click down here and hit Next Wallpaper, you can see it's went to the next wallpaper in the playlist. 
Now you can select different playlists for different monitors. Um, you can also group the monitors together and run the same playlist on both, you know, things like that, or however many monitors you want. So it's, it's really customizable. Now, what else is there really to show you? Okay, so we have the editor, and we have, yeah, so there's the editor now. I am no 3D designer by any means, so we'll have a quick look in here, but quite honestly, you'll have to play around yourself. Um, so yeah, so we've got a wee bit of rules now, which is quite interesting because I've seen a lot of pornography on uh, on here. Also, it's quite interesting that it uh, says real life, so, you know, basically only real porn is not allowed, but I have seen quite a lot of that, so be careful. Again, I'm completely new to this. I'm, I don't know anything about the creation of the wallpapers, so we'll just go for new video wallpaper. Okay, so this seems fairly simple. We can then, you know, import a video and create a wallpaper out of it, and then I assume it would uh, allow us... It'd be just like editing a video. Well, no, I'm not going to go into that too much, but... Yeah, now, the one other thing I want to cover before we finish up is... The, the reason I made this video was because someone in the comment section really liked the um, Totoro, Totoro, Totoro uh, wallpaper that I had. So I'm going to try and find that one again. Okay, let's get rid of the filters that we have selected. Okay, let's just search for Totoro. I guess it's okay. Well, it's not going to be in vehicle. <laughs> it's not going to be in vehicle. That's probably why. So I'm going to maximize. So here we are now for the Totoro ones. There's a whole range. Uh, there's some really good ones. There's some not so great ones. We, I think the one that I had at the time was Totoro in the rain, which is 63, 64.3 megabytes. So we'll click, double click that. That was a very quick download. And there we go. So that was the wallpaper that I had. So that's how you do it. Uh, I hope this video is of some help. Again, any questions, if I can be of any assistance, just give me a shout in the comments. And thank you very much for taking the time to watch. Bye-bye, guys. Thanks.